Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. I've been meaning to make this video for a long time because there's a lot of FUD going around the world about Bitcoin and its effect on the climate. And FUD is fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And there's going to be a lot more spread because people and governments around the world have an agenda. And it is not to make things better, it's to push their agenda to make money of keeping things the way they are. Now, I'm going to make a couple of statements that might trigger you. And if you don't like facts or can't think for yourself, you should probably stop watching this video. Because here's what I have to say. Bitcoin is the best thing and will be the best thing that ever happened to the climate. And it's going to change everything to move us forward and make things better in the future. And in my opinion, if you're against Bitcoin, you are against climate, the climate, period. Now, before I get into that, please hit that like button. We're trying to grow this community, and that really helps us out a lot. We want you to be part of our community, so therefore subscribe, mash the notifications, and let me know what you think in the comment sections at the end. And if you're full of hate and... Uh, you want to browbeat me, that's fine, but please do it with facts. Now, let's get into it. Here's the problem. Forget Bitcoin for a second. No matter what, if you're trying to send money around the world or use your bank, look what we have to do. We've got to get in our car, go to the bank, probably go through the drive through look at all that pollution. Look at the pollution of the computers running, of the electricity and everything being used to maintain a building. Now, if you're trying to send money internationally, think about it. If I want to send someone money to, say, uh, Argentina, right now, forget the apps and the new technology, the basics around the world, you got to get in your car, you go down to the bank, or you go somewhere. Uh, that uh, can send money, money gram or whatever. You got to get in your car. You got to go there. You got to pay a huge amount to send it. Then they have to drive to, say, money gram, show their ID, drive home, etc. Think about all that toxic carbon and all that foot. That think about that footprint when it relates to uh, the environment. Now, so that's the problem. And people say that Bitcoin is worse than that because Bitcoin is bad for the environment. Well, let's think about it. Right now, you can get, you can download an app, you can mash a button, you don't have to get in your car, you don't even have to have a bank, and you can send money anywhere in the world. They don't have to get in their car and go to MoneyGram or anything else. So think about that. That is a huge difference in the footprint. So give us some credit. But that's not what this is all about because that is minute. But I want you to think about what it takes right now to run our, our financial system and how Bitcoin can change that. Now, I'm not saying it's a wash. But now think about this, guys. This is one of the coolest stories I've ever heard. And it's bizarre that people are against it. But this U.S. company went into uh, Pennsylvania and they bought a old coal plant that had been shut down. It's like, you know, 50 years old. And it's just uh, the, the plant has been shut down because basically they stopped mining coal, which is a good thing. I'm all for it. Um, but they left the residue of all of when they burned the coal and when they dug it out of the ground. So you got acres, acres and acres, like thousands of acres that have been destroyed. And the old coal is the leftovers is just laying around. There's nothing that can grow there. There's no animals there. And it's emitting toxic waste forever well there's parts of the world of, of americans they just want to leave it alone don't do anything well 
this crypto mining company came in and said, here's what we're going to do. Now, they're using their own money. They're not using government money. It, that's the problem. Toxic waste, coal, etc. They went in there. They spent millions and millions and millions of dollars to push all that up, relocate it, and burn the old coal residue. And they're paying for it by doing Bitcoin mining. Now, bear with me. I understand that is toxic, but remember the problem. So what they're doing, they're burning the old residue and they're cleaning up the thousands of acres. As they do, they take their profit and then they bring back soil and they bring back plants. So when it's all said and done, we get our Bitcoin mined, right? They make money. And that couple of thousand acres has been revitalized. Didn't cost the taxpayers a penny. It's a win-win. But now look, problem is solved. It's gone. Yes, it got burned up into the atmosphere. I get that. But now it's going to replace itself through the trees and the plant life and the wildlife over Years. Now, I don't know how to do all that math, but I do know that that is a positive thing and it would not be fixed without Bitcoin. Now, that's just one example. And hopefully y'all understood that because you took 2000 acres of very toxic waste. You got it all cleaned up. Now there's deer, ponds, trees, wildlife, and it's you know, that's how we revitalize the climate is through plant life. Problem solved. Now, let's fast forward to Costa Rica. Costa Rica has a hydro plant that was shut down many, many years ago. So a crypto mining company came in, spent millions of dollars, revitalized that hydro plant, and now is mining crypto carbon neutral. Now, if it works out, like some other examples that I'm going to give you, they're going to have extra power that's carbon neutral or carbon negative that they can sell back to the utility companies, which is less toxic than the way they're producing it right now. Another win. Now, if you go out to Texas, Elon Musk is building a plant that is going to be 100 percent battery packs and solar to do Bitcoin mining. Forget all the millions and millions of jobs, but guys, here's the cool thing. They spent millions, if not billions of dollars to do the research to figure out how to produce this solar plant with the batteries and all that. So they're going to be able to take that technology, which they're giving to the world to make everything better for other corporations, other governments, or whoever that wants to use that technology. So without Bitcoin, we wouldn't be spending billions and billions and billions of dollars and putting the top engineers in the world on solving the problem of crypto. We'd be just sitting around bitching and moaning and waiting for the governments to do something. You know how that works. Well, this is free enterprise getting together, not only solving the problem of the climate, but they're solving the problem of uh, people not being banked and uh, of governments printing too much money. That's the Bitcoin. That's the other part of this story, but we're not going to get off on a tangent. Now, here's the best part. It's even better and better. And at the end of this, if you do not think that crypto or Bitcoin is one of the best things that ever happened, prove me wrong. All right, we go to Norway. Now, Norway had a hydro plant, basically the same thing. Was it being used? Hydro, just so you know, is about as clean outside of nuclear that you can get. Now, Norway, a, a crypto company came in there and partnered with the Norway government and said, hey, we're going to uh, pay the money to, to get your hydro going and get all that squared away. And we'll partner with you and we'll do Bitcoin mining. Now, get this, guys. 
Now they are mining Bitcoin 100% carbon neutral. Technically, it's carbon negative. They call it the green oasis. Now, they have an oversupply of what they need, so they are basically giving it to the community. So the entire community is getting free carbon neutral or negative energy and it's all happened because of bitcoin mining so guys that's the point i want to uh to bring home about bitcoin i want you to think of all the positives yes climate change is real we pollute the climate unbelievable but instead of griping about it the crypto the bitcoin community is stepping up and they are solving the problem. If you fast forward, say 10, 15, 20 years, everything, I can almost guarantee you 100% of everything to do with crypto, Bitcoin, blockchain, not only will be carbon neutral, it will be carbon negative. And it all stems from the problem of Bitcoin being toxic to the environment, which it is today, but it's being fixed every day because of free enterprise stepping up, spending billions and billions of dollars putting the top researchers in the world on figuring out that technology. Now, that technology not only is going to go from the crypto world and the Bitcoin mining world, it's going to go into plants in China. It's going to go into uh, you know car companies being built in the world. It's going to go through all the technologies. It is basically taking something that let's just say we could solve in 50 years and it's going to bum rush it and cut it in half, if not a fourth, because we have the reason and the motivation, the money and everything is coming behind it to make it make that problem go away. And by doing that, it's going to just push everything about climate change and fixing that to the forefront. And the best part about that, guys, we're doing it without the government. So again, in my opinion, if you are against Bitcoin, you are against the climate. Period. Prove me wrong. Hope you agree with me. If you do, please let me know in the comments. If you don't, that's fine. But prove me wrong. Tell me that Bitcoin uh, shouldn't be around that it doesn't and when you weigh it out bitcoin is by far a positive guys it's the best thing that happened to humanity it's bringing hope and uh, opportunity to the poor it's going to help uh, fix the environment it's bringing jobs guys it is almost the perfect tool to move humanity forward in my opinion now, this is not financial advice, but if I was you, I would start looking deeply into Bitcoin. And if nothing else, guys, if you really care about the poor and you care about the environment, I'm telling you, you need to get behind Bitcoin and start sharing this information. Don't listen to the FUD, the fear, uncertainty and doubt that uh, some of the competitors, the crypto competitors are trying to downplay or, or upplay. The problems of Bitcoin, there's governments that have an agenda. But guys, when it's all said and done, I'm telling you, and I'm proving it with facts, that Bitcoin is the best thing that ever happened for the climate. Short term, yes, guys, we can't fix it overnight. But imagine, take all these positives, and guys, I could go on for 10, 15, 20 hours of all the positive things. These are just some of the highlight stories. There's hundreds and hundreds of stories like this around the globe of things that they're doing. El Salvador is uh, looking to get into thermal underground and all that crazy stuff. And where are they going to have the money? They're going to get the money from the Bitcoin mining companies. And when that comes to fruition, not only is it going to change the environment uh, opportunity of, of how it's uh, helping the climate, it's going to change the ecosystem financially for the whole country guys is bringing jobs and opportunity i could go on and on and on anyway 
that's all the rant I got for you. But guys, I'm telling you, Bitcoin is the best thing that ever happened against, uh, uh, best thing to ever happen for the climate. And if you're against Bitcoin, you're against the climate. And before you start marching in the street, please do your homework, learn the facts, and don't spread the FUD and don't help people that have a negative agenda of spread their word. Spread the facts. Guys, that's what this video is all about. Anyway, didn't mean to get on the rat rant. I love you guys. I love Bitcoin. Bitcoin is going to change the world in so many different ways. If you don't know what Bitcoin's all about, you don't know what it's going to do, and you've just heard the FUD and the headline news, please do your homework. Watch more videos like this. I have a video about how Bitcoin is changing uh, the world financially for the poor. Check my playlist. Um, a man traveled around the world for two years in these third world countries, and he only used Bitcoin. The adoption is exploding. It's way behind in America. That's a shame. But anyway, again, don't mean to get on my rant. Guys, I love you. Take care. Please share this video. And uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Come back and be part of this community. Take care, guys.